I've just been for a wander on the nursery and uh, it's very early March and there's not a great deal of colour up there. So these hellebores at the moment are really stealing the show. Now hellebores are great plants, they're really very easy to grow. Um, they like fertile, freely draining soils. Um, they'll grow in, uh, ideally in dapple shade, so around the perimeter of, um, of established trees is ideal. And um, they're hardly ever attacked by slugs or snails or deer. And uh, yeah, they're just really lovely, great plants. And they start flowering from midwinter and they carry all the way through to mid to late spring. And as you can see, they come in virtually every color of the rainbow, not quite, but anything from white to deepest, darkest plum, that's almost a black. Um, and all the shades of pink in between. Uh, some flowers are big, some are little, some have a single row of petals, some have a double row, some are spotty. Um, they're just a lovely, oh, greens, which are really fresh, uh, make a nice contrast. So, you know, they're really worthwhile plants to grow and uh, very low maintenance. One thing I would recommend doing is um, before the flowers emerge each year is to just uh, cut off all the, all the old foliage. So usually I tackle that about December time. And that's um, got two benefits. The first one is it shows off the newly emerging flowers to perfection. And the second thing is that hellebores are prone to a fungal disease um, which causes black spots on the, on the foliage. Now, it's hardly ever fatal or very serious, but it can make the plant look a bit tatty. So that just, you know, nips that in the bud as well. Um, these flowers, uh, each one can last weeks on end, so they're really good showy plants for the winter garden. They work really well with all your other spring flowering uh, bulbs, snowdrops, crocus, daffodils. They also work well with um, herbaceous geraniums, uh, ferns, they look really good. All those sort of edge of woodland type plants, they're really, really good. Um, uh, one thing you'll often find, yeah, hellebores come often, they've got deep roots, and uh, so they're often sold in these really deep pots. And the thing is with the hellebores, they'll also, they've often, look root bound when they turn up but that's completely normal and I mean even there you shouldn't be too worried about just either chopping those roots off or you know um, just cutting into them a little bit to break them up I mean look at that you might be a little bit alarmed but this plant is not going to suffer in the least by just breaking those roots up and Sort of chunking into them a bit. You don't need to be breaking them off, you don't need to be too precious. Breaking them up before you plant and that'll just get them off to a good start. So hellebores, perfect for winter colour and into spring.